Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a kill counter in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And this could become the basis for a lot of other game functionality. And this is using the verse code. I'll show you the code, but you'll have to copy it down yourself. I'm not going to walk through each and every line of the code because I feel like a lot of the documentation is online and you don't need me to handpick my way through every line of code, what it does and everything. So I think a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory, actually. It's just figuring out how it all interfaces and how you what the functions are and methods of each of the devices and stuff like that. But when we're done, this is what we're going to end up with. I'll go into my Fortnite. I guess I'm already in it. I'm going to go start game. And I guess you got almost have to do it twice, start game. And this is what we kind of end up with is something that looks like this. So there's a creature spawner. I got So there's a creature spawner way over there. I better get my gun. You know, while I'm here, I better go get the other one. You know, just thinking about that. Okay, so I ought to be ready for these guys. Okay, so as soon as I get up there, it's gonna spawn in. There we go. Okay. Tough guys. So. I, I ran out of time there a little bit. Tough. Just notice the kills up on the top. God, how am I going to get to shoot these guys? Oh, did I kill that many of them? But look at the top. <laughs> so that's the kill counter up there. And then that data can be used for other things. I don't want to respawn it. But basically, that's that's what, we're, what we got. So anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back. And to get started on this, we're just going to go into Island Template, a blank project right here. And I'll just leave it called My Project F and go create. And it just takes a minute to do this. And I mentioned before in another video that what I'm doing is, is I'm working my way through the verse language and learning this Fortnite creative that I'm keeping text copies of all my verse code and I'm creating a library of verse functions and functionality so that I can just use those in the future. I don't have to keep retyping the code over and over again for certain basic things. And so that's a kind of a, my own personal hack that I do. Uh, but if you're, you're free to just create it from your mind every time if you want. So Anyway, we've got two spawners here in the scene and we only need one. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete delete that. So I've just got the one spawner. And there's just a couple things that we need for this. So we can go on devices here and search for the elimination manager, which is really a fantastic piece of code there that saves us a lot of work. And a lot of these devices are really great, actually. And we can search for a creature spawner, this thing. And this is, again, another amazing device. And I'm going to place it off in the distance. You can see kind of the trigger radius of it right there. And there's all of these have their own settings that you can adjust on them, but we're not going to mess with those settings right there. And that's basically all we need. And then the last thing we need is we need a weapon. And so I'm not sure what the best weapon in Fortnite is, but I was reading the Twin Mag is pretty good. So we'll just get that and drag that onto the scene. And then we're going to get another one just so you want plenty of weaponry. <laughs> now on these, you want the, it says time before first spawn. And we want to just put that at zero because we want to get our weapons right away. We don't want a delay, unnecessary delays when a crisis is going on. Okay, so that's all we have to do for those. And now the rest of this is literally just in the verse. To do this, I've done tutorials about this before. We can just go to Verse Explorer, left click, excuse me, on that, right click, and add new verse file to project. And I can just leave this called Hello World, <laughs> Hello World device. I'm going to go ahead and go create. And we'll save selected. And then it does a lot of stuff for us already. It creates this folder up here. And inside there, there's this creative devices folder. And in here, this first class is all of our code. So I'm just going to double click that. And this is in Visual Studio. And it has some starter code for us already written, which is great. But we're not going to use any of this. So I'm going to hit click in there and go Control-A and go Delete. And we're just going to get rid of all that. 
And then I'm going to go into Notepad, where I already have all my code written out. And I'm going to go Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to come back in here. Oops, I got to go in here, sorry, into my device here. And I'm just going to go Control B, and I'll make this full screen. So I'll leave this on the screen for a bit here. Just a note, we need these modules that we need. So you need to add those in addition to the defaults, those temporary UI, UI, and temporary spatial math. And then if I scroll up here, here is all the code. So I'll just leave this all on the screen, but basically here we initialize our device, our, our device here, and here we create a kill count variable and then a player array and a UI button and We've got this subscribes us to the elimination event. And this, I made comments on each one of these. If a valid player exists, this will create, create a UI method, make a call to this method down here. And this basically just is pretty standard as far as where we place the button on the screen. And this uh, increments our kill count right here. And I, I do have a print string on here, but that can be deleted if you want. And so you can just kind of make your way through each line and just kind of think about how it all works. But as you're copying this, it will help you if you don't understand something just to kind of look about it, look at it and think about it. And, you know, you can see here is the function call right here. It comes out to here and then it takes this player into it. And you can see we set, we're setting our text there on a UI button. And, you know, so you just kind of, the more you work your way through it, the more sense it'll start making. And then once we're done with that, we can go file, save, we're just going to minimize this. Then we come up here to verse. We're going to go build verse code. And believe this or not, we're almost done, I should say. We just drag this onto the scene. It's getting a little crowded up here. You don't need to actually see this in the game. You can turn that off. But we do need to, with this in the game, we do need to set it to the elimination manager. And now we're done. So did I go build verse code? Yeah, build verse code. And then all we do is launch session. And this is where you can go get a cup of coffee or run down to 7-Eleven or get something and then come back. It takes a little while. And then I'll come back as soon as it's done launching. Okay, I'm back. I uh, actually got, I didn't survive that first uh, trial play I did. So I'm gonna try to go smarter here. So I'm gonna start game. I don't play Fortnite, but it's all starting to make more sense to me. I'm going to get my weapons here first, load up here, and then I'm not going to build anything to try to survive through this. Monsters seem pretty tough. Building something, I see how it works now, but holy kizoli. Some more weapons here. Pretty good. Anyway, so you see, I killed eight. But that data can be used for something else. So anyway, hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.